Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick weather update. It's our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We're simulcasting tonight on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube. If you'd like to follow along, we're going to be giving you more information about what's going on with the forecast coming up in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in on Periscope, Google+, and everybody else on here, keeping you updated with what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather out there across much of the area on on Periscope and Twitter, let's get you guys ready to go and show you more about what's going on. You can follow along with me right down here, and then the forecast available right down here toward the bottom section of your screen. It's about mid-evening or so on Sunday. Things are decently quiet. It looks like low temperatures tonight. The forecast information you can find right down here at the bottom portion of your screen, just right there if you take a look at that location. And you can follow along on all of these uh, social media websites right up there by the word overtime if you'd like to follow along. Precipitation today, about a trace, managed to come on down, but really not much more than that across much of the area, about maybe four hundredths of an inch in some locations. We need a lot more because we are seeing, again, some pretty dry conditions out there. If it seemed to be a little bit more hazy out across the Mid-South than it has been in a while, that's because it has been. We'll be looking at some fairly dusty conditions across much of the area, so that's going to continue to be a bit of a problem. Temperatures today, another very warm one. We managed to get very close to around a record high temperature. We managed to hit a high temperature of 72 degrees today and again that's not entirely unmild for this time of the year but we also see again the temperatures again way above normal some almost 20 degrees above normal that is exceptionally mild out across much of the area. Heading into the rest of the evening tonight not going to need much more of the umbrella as things are going to be decently quiet across much of the Mid-South. The moving lines that you see on screen that is again the winds coming in from out of the northeast and that's going to continue right on in through tonight. So you'll be watching for those areas of wind sweeping on down and continuing into the area throughout the rest of the morning. By the time News Channel 3's Todd Demers is on the air with daybreak, temperatures will be back in the mid to upper 30s. And with those northeasterly winds, again, could be some wind chills into tomorrow morning about the time the kids hit the bus stop for early going to school and for commute time. A little bit of cloud cover coming in from the west is not really going to be that much of a problem for us, but we're going to be seeing you get a pretty dry day coming up. Clouds and sun kind of mixed together for the most part. Temperatures by mid to late morning back into the lower to mid 40s across much of the area. Welcome to everybody on Periscope and Twitter who has just joined us. You can follow along with me right down here in the bottom lower section of your screen. By midday tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 40s. 40s to around the lower 50s. High temperatures tomorrow should be almost pretty well spot on normal for this time of the year. It's not going to be much more than that. Uh, not really seeing too much of anything like we did this weekend with very warm conditions. Likewise, we're not going to be seeing very cool conditions, so I guess you could call this a Goldilocks forecast, so to speak, and believe me, I hate making the air quotes just as much as everybody else loves seeing them. As of right now, again, the possibility of getting any rain is going to be toward Tuesday, not for Monday. So you can leave the umbrella at home, not seeing too much of any concern out there for the most part as we get into the course of the rest of the evening. Chilly by News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow night, and again, a few more clouds coming in from the west, but nothing in the way of rainfall expected until we get into around Tuesday or so. So for the forecast tonight, lower to mid-30s for the most part, a little breezy toward early tomorrow morning. Getting into around tomorrow, high temperatures again, pretty close to normal for this time of the year, and and some parts of the Mid-South might make their way into the mid to upper 50s, but mainly mid 50s will be the baseline for much of the area. Valentine's Day, most of the day should be okay. It's going to be kind of a gloomy Valentine's Day with a lot of cloud cover out there and not really seeing too much of anything in the way of rain until we get into around the evening hours, and that's where we start to see the possibility of more scattered showers in the Mid-South. Just showers, not looking at anything in the way of severe weather at this point, which is good news. Stay tuned. We'll talk more about the severe weather safety in just just a little bit. Leftover showers by drive time on Wednesday and looking at clearing skies, so hopefully a little bit of some better news where it comes to stargazing. Most of what we see in the morning will be back into around the very early morning hours, pre-rush hour, pre-sunrise, and then dwindling showers right after that. Throughout the rest of the week, temperatures again pretty mild for Monday through about Thursday, and then by about Friday we start heading back upwards again into the mid to upper 60s, so very much on the warmer side out across much of the area 
yet again. And by next weekend into next week, that's where we start to see the possibility of more scattered showers coming our direction into around Monday and Tuesday. Again, that's pretty far in the future, so it's doubtful that it's going to remain that forecast carved in stone so keep attuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on what we see throughout the course of the rest of the forecast again we're going to be seeing some very much above normal temperatures as we get into the area between saturday sunday and next monday but then dropping back on down for temperatures as we get into around the area into around next week wednesday or so that could also change into the course of the next several days so stay tuned for more on that getting the kids out to the school bus stop very early tomorrow morning temperatures will again be back into the mid to upper 30s by the time the kids head out there but by the time you pick the kids up temperatures should be right about normal for the area in and around early to mid february so that's not bad and you also won't need the umbrella so definitely good news on that now severe weather if you would like to know more maybe you just moved to this area of the country and you don't know that much about severe weather uh, you may have never been in any severe weather before and if you just got here and would like to know more about what you can do to get ready for severe weather this is where you want to be these right here that you see are the first five meetings being taught by the National Weather Service office in Memphis Tennessee these meetings last for about maybe an hour or so, a little bit longer than that, depending on how many questions get asked, and it's a great opportunity to go and find out what to do before, during, and after severe weather. This is your opportunity to learn more, to become a citizen scientist, to help the National Weather Service. You become their ears, their eyes, and their brains out in the field. That's where we need people out there to confirm what the radar is showing us and to get as many eyes on the storm as possible. This is not a chase course. I want to make certain that everybody understands that immediately right now. It is not about chasing storms. It's about spotting for them, making certain that you know what's going on so you can take that information, call a special toll free number to the National Weather Service in Memphis and this will help get you in touch with them immediately so they can get the information out to people like me so I can help out the rest of the Mid-South by keeping them informed as to what's going on. So if you'd like to know more about this, again, these right here represent the first five meetings. There's going to be about two dozen of them in the next couple of weeks all the way through late March. The one for Memphis is coming up on Thursday, March 23rd. If you'd like to know more about this, go to this website right here, wreg.com slash weather. Drop down below the forecast and all the information will be listed there and also don't forget about joining me on my social media pages we'll have all the information about where when and everything else in the events section on Facebook Twitter Instagram everything else on there please join me for more information about that you've been listening to my forecast all weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Networks Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 tune in next weekend for more on that join me tomorrow morning for the brand new Memphis AM radio show with C. Austin and Josh talking about news, events, and all kinds of other stuff going on. And just after that, sports and a lot of it, Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That's on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, bright and early on Monday morning. And, of course, don't forget about News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll be in tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak with your complete forecast. Rest of the evening tonight, again, decently quiet out across the area. No major problems being seen at this time, but we will be watching for more potential of rain later on this week and some slightly cooler temperatures than what we saw this weekend, but otherwise not doing too bad out there. Questions, concerns, comments, anything you'd like to know, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and you can find out more about that. Facebook Messenger sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, so again, if you'd like to have a question about the forecast or what's going on across the Mid-South with severe weather uh, meetings and things of that nature, please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com. Thanks for joining me it's for Sunday night's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime on Google+, Periscope, Twitter, and on all the other places as well. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of tonight. Special weather update again coming up on the late edition after the Grammys. And of course, Todd Demers has more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining me for tonight's edition of Weather Overtime.